National Security Minister the Honorable Wayne Monroe says the government will be looking to expand surveillance technology like CCTV to assist the police in the fight against crime. Addressing the press briefing at the office of the Prime Minister today, Minister Monroe also told reporters that the $70,000 hubcap COVID-19 surveillance has gone virtually unused. Keishla Adderley reports. It was the system identified early in the COVID-19 pandemic as the solution to monitoring and controlling the movements of those confirmed as COVID-19 positive. But with a $70,000 contract in place, National Security Minister the Honorable Wayne Monroe says the hubcap system has gone virtually unused. And so during this COVID emergency, the Bahamian people have so far paid about $70,000 for technology to track persons who ought to be in quarantine without it being deployed at all. Still on the issue of COVID-19, Minister Monroe said prison officials are collaborating on a plan to keep COVID-19 at bay at the Bahamas Department of Corrections. But since prison superintendent Charles Murphy has been placed on administrative leave, they're having difficulty getting the information needed to set plans in motion on that and other issues. There is a correctional service board that carries out statutory functions for review and protection of inmates. I met with that board who indicated that they were unable to report to me as statutorily required because they receive no cooperation from the current substantive commissioner of corrections. That is an important body and it, its function will be even more important when one looks at the investigation into the inmate who was found unresponsive and pronounced dead. Since the two deputy commissioners have been returned to the correctional institution, the doctor at my direction when I visited and in concert with the acting commissioner has produced a COVID mitigation plan that is at the rate of costing of about $19,000 a month, which because it wasn't engaged by the previous commissioner is unbudgeted and the government will be asked to provide for that. On the issue of crime detection, Minister Monroe says the latest technology like CCTV isn't spread broadly enough to his satisfaction and notes that citizens have often been uncooperative in assisting police with surveillance footage which could assist in solving crimes. And that only brings home that public CCTV is necessary, particularly in spots where they would be useful in identifying perpetrators of crime. So true to the mandate, I will be approaching the Bahamas government to expand these resources of the Royal Bahamas Police Force so that they may properly do their jobs. Addressing security concerns at Government House, highlighted in the unfortunate shooting death of a Defense Force guard two years ago and damage to the statue of Christopher Columbus last month, Minister Monroe says a review of the security is underway. I can tell you that it speaks about upgrades and CCTV coverage at Government House. And having been at Government House on National Heroes Day holiday, um, a lot of that is being built into the current renovation. It also spoke to increasing the barriers at Government House. The proposed revisions, Minister Monroe notes, must be considered in consultation with the Office of the Governor General, given Government House's historic designation. Keisha Adderley, ZNS My Network. My name is Camille Barnett, and I'm president of the Bahamas AIDS Foundation. During these difficult times, we have continued to provide support to our clients through a number of initiatives. We provide weekly grocery support and hot meals. Our clients have access to counseling and a food and clothing bank, as well as assistance with clinic visits and medications. Access to our social worker enables clients to get support with job preparation, securing government documents, and negotiating the everyday trials of life. We are also committed to making sure our young people have academic support through the provision of laptops and school supplies, funds for school registration, and national examination fees. 
The Foundation is proud of our Solomon Wellington Adley Memorial Scholarship, which supports two university students. Our Foundation and its volunteers work to positively impact the lives of our clients. It is important work that must continue. In order to continue our work, we need your support. You can support the Bahamas AIDS Foundation by visiting our website at www.bahamasaidsfoundation.org and selecting one of the methods for donating and by participating in our awareness activities, especially as we approach World AIDS Day on December the 1st. I wish to thank all of our supporters and donors over the years. We cannot do what we do without the support of generous members of our community. Thank you.